Okay, we're going to try this again. We're going to try and show you how to save your bot settings. Okay, first we're going to go to the PowerBot. And then we are going to go down to Settings. And go all the way to the bottom. And click Import Export. Then we're going to click Save Settings. This is just for the bot only. Okay, then you click Save. And wherever you have your browser saving stuff is where this is going to go. So you need to make sure it goes to desktop. Otherwise, you can try and drag it, but if it doesn't work, you'll have to move the file because it really needs to be on your desktop. All three of these files do. Okay, so we're going to go over here and look. And it's config 454. There it is. Okay, that's the one for the um, PowerBot. Okay. And I'm going to change the name, rename it to bot454 so I know what it is and it's easy to find. Okay, so I'm going to move it right up there to the top. Okay, next we're going to go down and we're going to do the throne room organizer too. Um, this is moving from TCO to the built-in uh, throne and champ organizer in PowerBot Plus. Okay, you're going to click on TCO and you're going to go to the throne room salvager click salvager throne room salvager and then you're going to click save rules and this is what it's called and once again you want to click save file and it's you, you want it to go to desktop or you can drag it there okay this is the throne room so i'm going to change the name of it just so i know what it is so it's easier to find th454 okay Throne 454. Next, we're going to do the champ. Okay, we're going to go back to it and we're going to go to Salvager on the champion and we're going to click Save Rules on the Salvager and then click Save File again here and it's been saved to the desktop again because that's where mine goes. I'm going to change the name here, rename. And I'm going to call it Champ 454. Okay. Then you can put them all in a folder when you're done. Okay. Now, to load them on your bot, you close this out. And once you've closed out TCO and you've got, you know, the bot settings and TCO settings, then you can uncheck and disable TCO so that you don't end up with the conflict. You'll tolerate it for a little bit, but then it goes back and drives you nuts. Or it can, depending on what browser you're using. Okay, now we're going to go to uh, load it. Okay, so we're going to go load the settings. Uh, let's do settings. We're going to do the bot first. We're going to browse and find the bot. We want to look for bot settings. 454, right there. And then we're going to click load config. Now, when the bot uh, loads the configuration, it will refresh. But when it does the TCO, uh, the Champ, and Throne Room Organizer, it does not. It just tells you to check. Okay. Once you've saved them in here, then you can disable TCO. And then you can, uh, if you need them again, you can bring them back up. Okay. We're going to do the Throne first. Go to Throne, then Salvager. And you're going to go down to the bottom and you're going to click browse and then you're going to look for the throne settings there's settings settings throne settings would be thrown there's champ settings you don't want to put champ settings and throne settings you want throne settings throne 454 there we go right there and then click load rules and it loads them all for you please check there they are okay now we're going to go up and get the champ same way champ salvager browse and you want champ settings it's right there and then click load rules and they're loaded okay that easy that that's easy okay any questions hit us up in game or on our group pages, and we'll be glad to help you. Thanks. Bye.